Hi, hello, how are you? Amanda, Saint Artist. We're gonna do our eyes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a really nice, light, simple, everyday look. This is, I'm gonna use my favorite colors. These have been my favorite colors since the day I started. So I always use my brightening highlight. I feel like you get a lot of pigmentation with your makeup when you're using the brightening rather than the main highlight, all right? Then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna get Drift. Drift is, these are all of our eyeshadows and they are all so pretty, so stinking pretty. All right, I'm gonna go into Drift. Drift is a champagne shimmer. If you have Rome or Sabrina, those will work too. It's so pretty. It is my favorite and I like to use this to set my makeup because it's a low flex shimmer so it works with mature lids. And I'm gonna set that cream with this low flex shimmer. It's not going to mature your lids and you can easily punch this up by using creams. You can punch this up by using your finger. It's so good and I go from lash to brow with this. Now this was my go-to look. So before I decided to do the Saint makeup thing, I did not venture out on my eyeshadows. I had all the basic colors, you know, all the shades of brown and that's where I lived, was with the very basics. So what I'm gonna do is that. I wanna show my everyday, my most favorite everyday eyeshadow. I'm gonna be using Claire next. It's this beautiful pink color. It is a, it is a matte finish. And I am gonna use the smudge brush because it's the one I found. We are going to use the wide end and I'm gonna go into Claire. We're just gonna press that on, tap off the excess. And I am going to put this, where is it? There it is, up on my brow bone, okay? We're gonna pop this onto the brow bone, into the crease, and then we're gonna pull it up and out. This is a transition color, and it's so pretty. It just kind of brightens up the eye and gives a really youthful look. And it's on top of that drift color, but look at how pretty that looks. If you wanna look like you're not wearing makeup, put drift on all over and then tap a little Claire on top. It's such a beautiful pink. All right, so we're going into the crease and then we're gonna pull it out and up and the reason I'm pulling up here is one I have hooded eyes so all this touches my lash line so everything that goes into my crease and my lid will disappear so I keep this up high and the reason I need to add a little more over here the reason I pull it up high this way is to give my eyes some lift because I do have maturing lids all right my next go-to favorite color, this was one, this was the first color I bought. I live and breathe by it for a whole year, oak. I ran out of it all the time because I loved it. It was my eyebrow color, it's a great brow color, and it's just a good neutral color. So I'm putting some onto the short round end, and I am not gonna go on the outer corner. I'm gonna stay on my brow bone above the crease, and I'm pulling it straight out. Do you see how it just lifted that lid? That hooded eye is just lifted and pulled away. And this is just such a good everyday color. Putting these two together, I love it. Oak and Claire and Drift. Those are the only three colors I'm using and they are my ride or die favorite. So I'm gonna put a little bit, so I'm just gonna rub it right here, put a little bit on, and I am going to put this on my lower lash line just to smoke things out. And then I'm gonna pull it up and flick it up. And do you see how it just creates this beautiful structure where it just lifted this brow? Where it lit, not brow, my crease. It, we kinda, I don't know, I don't know. It just looks better. <laughs> it just looks better. I don't know how to say it. It kind of just makes that hood not so hooded. Flicking off the excess of the oak and again, staying on that brow bone, going in and pulling straight out. We're not gonna follow our crease. We are pulling straight out and we are pushing on to that bottom part of that brow bone because we do have that pink Claire. Just like that, we can take, I wanna grab some of that drift right here on the big end and I am just going to clean up. It just got a little, little out of sorts right there so I can just correct it. But taking that in and you just pull it straight out, it just lifts that hood, lifts your eye and it's so good. That's it, it's good. That's all I gotta say about it. All right, we're gonna go back to Drift. Drift I put all over my lid from lash to brow. We're gonna go back into it. We're gonna grab some with our finger and I'm just gonna pop this right here in the middle. 
I already have shimmer all over. I just want the center to have that little bit of pop. It's the same color I put all over, but now it has that little bit of pop. And that's, that's really it. So then we can get into our eyeliner. If you're wearing mascara, I do need to put that little bit underneath right here. Just getting underneath, pulling up. I just want to tidy up right there. But look at how pretty this is. It's just three colors, clear, oak, and drift. I'm gonna grab my liner, Maybelline Tattoo Studio. It's the same one I've used for years. And we are going to waterline the top. Go onto this outer corner and just set it there. Look down, push up. It will tickle when you first start doing it. If you feel like you're about to blink, take it off and blink. Take it off and blink. I let this follow until my lashes stop. I don't go all the way other, over, otherwise it will transfer. So staying on that outer corner, push in, outer corner, follow in. This takes adjustment, this takes getting used to. Gonna get a little bit on this outer side, just about a quarter of the way in, water lining. I'm not gonna go all the way across because it will close my eye and make it look small and I wanna have outward lift. So we're gonna go to that corner where we were water lining and we're gonna flick up following that lower lash line and then just push in. Sharpen things up. And then I always put just a little bit on the ledge on the inside. This just extends my lashes, makes them look like they go farther than they do. So again, flicking up on this corner, the same angle as your lower lash line to give your eye lift, otherwise it can pull down. And then just pushing in on the top for that lash line a little bit. I need to turn my head. Your eyes don't like it when they see a pencil coming. <laughs> but adding that little bit on the edge on the inside just gives a little bit of definition and it's just super pretty. And then we're gonna grab this brush, the smudge brush, and we are gonna just smudge a little more in case there was any transfer. This just helps. It just helps. That's it. We're gonna use our finger again. I'm going into drift, putting a little bit on. I'm gonna pop this right here where my tear duct is right on this inner corner here. Boom, just like that. That's it. That's an, a beautiful everyday look. And if you wanna bump this up a notch and you're going out after, meeting somebody for a drink, having dinner, and you just wanna bump your look up a little bit, <laughs> get a brush, get it a little bit damp, and tap it into oak, and you can just deepen the outer corner. That's it, that's how easy it is. You can tap and reset all your makeup and then go out. You're, you don't need to pile on more makeup at the end of your day. If you're wanting to bump it up a notch, you just need to reset it with your fingers. You don't need to carry a whole bunch of makeup with you. You just reset all the places that need to be reset. Pop on a little lipstick and bye-bye. But that's it. This is just a really great work, everyday look, church look, brunch look, breakfast look going to the grocery store, sitting on your couch kind of look. So that's it. Have a great day.